Welcome to the second part of this video review of the Kojinja SH8 UMPC by GadgetsArabia.com. This is Ahmed Kabr speaking to you, senior editor of GadgetsArabia.com. So, in the previous part of this review, we took a quick look on the exterior of the Kojinja SH8 UMPC, and in this part, we are taking this further to explore the device in action. So I'm switching the device on and uh, as it runs we're talking about the technical specification of this device. The device runs uh, on an Intel motherboard chipset 800 megahertz processor, 1 gigabyte of RAM it has got uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi also it's got a touch screen and a lot of controls here a lot of buttons so uh, the device is starting the device could work as well in the tablet mode I could switch the screen up to 180 degrees and you turn it back the device has got as well very good sound system a webcam and it's optimized for Windows Vista Home Premium it comes, it comes uh, pre-installed to the device. So uh, here it is. The device is starting Windows Vista Home Premium. It acts, it acts um, very well on Windows Vista Home Premium, and it indicates very good performance of this device. So I've got here a switch for switching on both the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It's not a very good point of the company to make both of them in a single switch. You cannot control each of them except from the functional keys. I can switch off and on the Bluetooth from here. So the device's will comes with uh, a TDMB compatibility. It could run um, TDMB broadcasting which is not available in fact except in in Japan and South Korea, I guess. So, first of all, we're taking a quick look at the device. It takes quite a lot of time to start uh, from a cold start. It's so the device is working now, as you can see. That's Windows Vista. I could try to start on some applications, something like Microsoft PowerPoint. It's very, very fast. That was great, in fact. Well, as you can see, the keyboard is great. It's very, very productive. I found it very good for typing for, in fact, every use. You have got the mouse pad here, right and left bounce buttons. That's so good to work as a mini laptop. It's perfect. Very productive devices. And they just said, quite responsive. So I could browse the web. I've got the Flock social web browser installed here. I do like this browser. So here it is. Um, that's gadgetsarabia.com. Internet is working very good. That's quite good. I could as well switch the device like that into the slate mode. Hold the device like that, just like that. Use the directional keys, scroll keys, the mouse pointer, which is quite good as well. Mouse buttons like that. It works good. As well, the device has got a very, very bright screen. It's an excellent screen, in fact, first class one. It's perfect. I didn't see something like that in any other UMPCs. That's the webcam. Those are the other buttons for quick access to many functions. So, as you can see, it's quite functioning. That's the pad. I could use it like a tablet as well, as you could see in the stylus. I, I could write here. As well. 
So I'm returning the device back into the laptop form factor. And the laptop mode. And we could say, yeah, we could test as well the sound system. Running some music comes. This goes, the device is quite responsive here. I find it very interesting in terms of processing power and RAM memory. So that was good. So uh, for the battery of this device, it, uh, it runs for about two and a half hours, about two and twenty minutes, with Wi-Fi switched on. I didn't try it. Maybe maybe with Wi-Fi switched off, it could reach nearly uh, two hours and forty minutes or something like that. That works good. In fact, it's not not bad. Although I'm all, I'm always looking for longer battery life. In fact, and on portable devices like this. So that was the device, the Kojin Chess H8 UMPC, a very good device, very productive one. Also, uh, I didn't cover that it has here a CF core slot as well as an SD core slot here and another USB port here. Um, that's that's quite good. That it has got here that switch for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I talked about that before. So that was uh, the end of our review, video review for the Code JHS H8. More video reviews coming from GadgetsRadio.com. Follow up with us.